What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Dinkum, uh, where I left off, I believe, if I remember correctly, I was growing a sustainable source of food. So I planted four trees. Okay, that is a very close up, but I like coming out of the, uh, the tent there and looking out and seeing the ocean there. That's very nice. Uh, yeah, and we got... We got some trees growing right there. Uh, I feel like I can mine this away. Ah, termite nests. Can I mine that away? Grass seed. Uh, I definitely feel like I should be uh, saving that for... Uh, like, maybe, maybe a scythe? But what do I have on the agenda for today? Uh, bury three fruit, cook one meat, and smash four ore rocks. So, eventually I would like to, um... Uh, I guess I can't remove that yet. There we go. Got him. Uh, I'd eventually like to, I guess, clear out uh, this area, in a sense, and kind of uh, leave it as, like, my my uh, orchard. We'll just have some, uh, just a small orchard right over here. I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. Oh, man. Well, we got the farming aspect down. I'm lost to this game. <laughs> Hello there, Big Bo. What can I do for you? Uh, let's talk about the town. Let's see. What exactly can I help you with? Can I see the deeds? Uh, I want to move a building. Never mind. Oh, I guess I don't need any of that. Um, what are my tasks? Do some favors for John. That's right. I'm in the midst of uh, doing favors for John's. We want, or er, John, we want him to have a permanent building here. Welcome to John's Goods. How can I help you? Uh, I wanted to chat. Got a job for me? Ah. Actually, I have a Jolly Shoes I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? 1,020? Yeah, it's a deal. Pleasure doing business with you, Big Bo. Alright. Does that count as a favor? Hey, Vigbo. I've decided I really like it here. Oh, it did count as a favor. So I spoke to Fletch and I've applied for a deed so I can set up a permanent store here in town. I hope I can move in soon. A new deed is available. Talk to Fletch and apply for deeds. All right. I'm hoping his shop can just kind of stay right there. Hello there, Vigbo. What can I do for you? Let's talk about the town. What exactly can I help you with? Uh, can I see the deeds? Okay, here are current deeds. Shop deed. A deed for a store with a wider range of items. A place for the community to post news and requests. Okay. What do I need to do for these? Oh, shop deed. Uh, town debt. Building materials required uh, once placed. Uh, building materials required once, once placed. Um, an extra D in there, but, um, like I said, I believe this is still early access. They're still working out some of the, the things there. That's fine. I guess I could just apply, or do I need to have the money for that? Okay, so we're going to apply for the shop deed. Just so you know, this will put the town in $75,000 in Doge debt. Oh, don't worry. We will pay it off in no time. There is a donation box here in the base tent. So are we going to apply for the shop deed? Let's do it. Great, we're all set. I'll give you the deed so you can decide where to place it. Once it's placed, check the deposit box on the build site. We don't want, uh, we won't be able to start construction until we have all the required materials. So the quicker we have everything we need, the quicker we can start construction. All right. Uh, can I just... 
kind of put it back here then? If I'm not going to be able to... Uh, maybe I could just do something like this, and then it'll fit, like, right back here, nice and cozy. Uh, yeah. Is this a good place for a shop, for the shop deed? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Uh, maybe not. Well, it doesn't look like it should interfere with the base tent. I mean, it's right behind the base tent, that's, oh well. So, we can read. Building materials are required to be begin construction. Should I place building materials inside? Uh, place items? What do I need? Oh, I can give uh, boards already. Alright. Okay, I don't have anything else yet. So I do need to go and get uh, ores. And I do need to give money to the donation box. So let's go. Let's talk to John. And we're going to sell some goods, get some money. Let's sell this. Let's sell the Rupu. poo. Uh, and I guess that's all I can. Um, that's all I'm willing to sell right now. Uh, the the ores I want to keep because I want to get some smelting done. To, yeah, sure, sounds good. And I'm going to need another axe. I have a feeling that that axe is going to break, and I'm going to need another net. So. Uh, I will take the net. I wonder if there's, like, any point I can craft these. No, no, no. I don't want the pickaxe. Uh, no thanks. I want the regular axe. <laughs> there we go. So what's going on with everybody? Has anybody else picked up this game? And how? Are you, if so, how are you enjoying it? Because I'm getting some major, like... I'm loving the, like, Animal Crossing feel to it. Except I feel it's a little bit more expanded. Uh, from Animal Crossing. A little bit more involved. But hey, either way, I am having a blast. We're going to put this here, and we're going to move this here. Oh, I can wear shoes now. Look at that. Uh, I already have a yellow B shirt. <laughs> the B stands for shirt. Oh, and then I have the black shirt. Okay. Look at that. I got shoes now. So let's come and harvest some of these little guys. Let's catch this guy. It's a little difficult catching the bugs. I mean, it, it's simple enough to catch the bugs, but it, it can be a little difficult sometimes. Like, you, I can't necessarily... I feel like I can't necessarily aim that well with this. Um, I wonder if I leave that bone there for him, if he'll just, like, go to town on it. So, I do need to go and get a lot more tin ore. And I am just on my way over there. I think I'm going in the right direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I can pick up these along the way. There we go.
Um, can I? Oh, I can get tin sheets from barrels. Okay, I like that. Cleaning up the island. I just saw it, it looked like a dingo, uh, maybe, uh, chasing one of the ruse. What a ruse, huh? We gotta watch our energy, too. If anything, too, our foraging skill is going to go through the roof because we are just collecting everything. Alright, so we got our ores for the daily quest. I can bury three more fruit, and I can't cook any... I can't cook any more meat equipped. You can buy a lot of useful tools to help you. Here is a milestone for buying tools. Oh, cool! Or or nothing. You know, I would have went with all or nothing, <laughs> but, you know, that works just as good. All right. I'm not gonna mess with the uh, the the croc there. There's copper ores there, and we got some more tin ores over here. All right. I, I was hoping I'd be able to look for, like, another barrel. Because that was just... I guess that was lucky getting one of those tin sheets from it. But if we need to... Smelt some tin ore to get the tin sheets. Um, let's put this and this back in here. And put this back on my taskbar one two three two full I do like how they have a um like the fullness meter too so you kind of have to you kind of have to figure out well do I want to get just the extra energy because you have to work a little bit more to get hungry again. And I think this is going to be as much as I can do for right now. Until I slowly uh, regenerate some of my my stamina. that's gonna give me kind of like a full no I think that is a full inventory yeah I need to also make storage uh, crates as well but there's just so many logs to collect out here too Alright, remember, don't wander too far from camp. Am I going in the right direction? Okay, I'm going in the right direction. Alright. 
Actually, I don't think... Yeah, I'm going in the right direction. I should be. <laughs> as long as I don't keep getting sidetracked. Oh, I can, uh... I can eat again. Running off further away. Oh, that's funny. Oh. Uh -oh. But there's just so much stuff to grab over here. Look at this. I may have to, uh, n well, I kind of want to keep everything I'm doing on this just to kind of see how it's going. But I also like to take my time and do, like, some builds, too. So, I don't know. Well, if you guys are... Oh, my net broke. N no, I'm just holding a butterfly. Um, I was holding... <gasps> My net was equipped into the, uh, <laughs> the spot that the butterfly took. Okay, so that's why it still looked like I was, I had a net, but I was holding a butterfly. So, yes, the net, the net does break, uh, the tools do break. I wonder if there's, like, Animal Crossing where they have, like, a golden tool system or something that's, like, an indestructible tool. But that's probably not towards, uh, that's not until, uh, later on the net, in the end game, possibly. Just what I'm assuming. But, you know, you, you start out in the beginnings uh, of these games, and it's, it's a little rough sometimes uh, getting started. But once you get towards the, the later games, you're going to... Or the later game. And you have, like, every single amazing item... You just can't start off with the best of everything. You have to work your way to it. So, I believe I need ten more... Ten more planks? Uh, I don't know if that... No, the shop should still be open. Yes. And we're just gonna go ahead and sell... Some goods to John here. Let's sell him this and this. We'll sell him this... We'll sell him this, we'll sell him this. And that's what we can sell him. The rest we can... Let's see, all up, 3,060. Sounds good. Thank you for visiting John's Goods. Now look, he's, he's done for the day. Oh no. What? Good day. How's it going, mate? Uh, got a job for me? I don't have a job for you. I don't know why he was running out screaming, oh no. Uh, but we will start smelting some of these ores. And then while we're waiting on that... I guess we can clear some of this out. Oh gosh, a crocodile. Get away from me. Looks like I'm gonna try like leaving maybe one space between. Uh, we can do this. Let 
There we go. And we can also do... This. And one more, right? Let's do another one of these. I'll take it. And I, I still don't have a, uh, a stove. I wonder, I wonder if I can craft that yet. A cooking table. Palm wood planks. I need palm wood. I have everything except for the palm wood. And I need palm wood. I need to make more gumwood planks, though. So I thought there was a cooking bench in here, but I guess not. Or maybe I can make a campfire. Can I cut these? Hardwood planks. I'll take those. We're just going to be a little, uh, little busy tonight. I don't know if this has, like, a certain time. Oh, it'll just keep putting them in a bag for me. Oh, I like that. And then... Once that is done. I can go bring these over to be donated. Because we're gonna... What are you doing in the water? Oh, he ran out as soon as he saw the fish. No, he, he doesn't get donated over here. He gets donated over here. Alright, so construction materials, building materials, place items. We're gonna place the planks. I probably also should have put the tin sheet. Uh, place items. Oh, we're going to put the tin sheet. We're going to need some more nails. So, I should be able to craft nails, but I don't think I can craft tin sheets. So this should be enough nails, but I'm also going to craft more nails because I want to make a crate too. So let's get this. I don't want to wander too far off from camp, but maybe I can make another campfire. I can. Craft. And then I can put my campfire down. can cook and I can cook yeah 
Now, I wonder if all these, like, foods have, like, a spoil time? It's possible they do. Cooked drumstick. That sounds really good. A bone that can be used to make stuff. Okay. But, yeah, everything, uh... I wonder if there's just, like, a, a quick sort... I'm not seeing a quick sort. Um, that's all right. Um, it is getting a little late on this episode. I'd love to actually maybe explore some of the things around here at night. I should say the episode's getting a little long. Uh, but I'm not seeing... Oh, bones and meat. And oh gosh, that's why there's bones and meat in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the safety of my tent. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, once I once I start getting into this and oh yeah, that's right. I'm still doing I'm still doing ores. What am I? I got one more. One more ore I can do. Can I plant cactus figs on the beach? I wonder if I can... Actually, I wonder if I could just plant one right here. I don't know if that quite works. <laughs> That's still smelting down. We'll come back to that. And I just want to double check one thing. I can make a spear. I have planks and I have a tin bar. Am I going to make a spear right now, though? Uh, I'm going to pass on that. I can make a crafting table, but we already have a crafting table. I want the cooking table. That's what I want to get. Alright. So, we are gonna... No, we're gonna pick up the tin bar. Not the smelter. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, call it a night here. So, we're gonna lay down. We're gonna sleep until tomorrow. Alright. Alright. I feel like we're getting a lot accomplished. How did, no, I didn't get any hunting skills up. Wait, unless gathering food counts as hunting? Foraging is, I feel like, is going to always be the highest. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. I appreciate you guys uh, checking out the series. If you're liking the series, uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Till then, take it easy.